Hi everyone, it's Lynn from the Stitch TV Show. Um, today, this is just a quick little tip. You know, I do a lot of um, specialty stitches with my machine, and I just wanted to talk about how you can get a specialty stitch to curve a little bit um, without a special tool. Um, I know a lot of machines have like circles that you can put this tool on your machine, and I have that and I can do it too. But let's say you just want a specialty stitch to go around something. Of course, I'm gonna tell you, you have to practice, but this is the stitch that I showed you or that I wanted to just show you how it works. Um, and this is just it stitched out straight. And then what I did here is I just took a pencil and I drew a curved line. And then I practiced using my specialty stitch to go around that line. Now there's a couple of things you need to know. Um, for me, the easiest way to do this is when a specialty, when you know a specialty stitch starts from one side. In other words, it doesn't start in the middle. It's harder when you do this when it starts in the middle without a tool. Um, but if it starts on one side like this one does and it literally stitches this way around the loop and back down, stitch up around the loop and down. So I know where it starts and I know that my needle's gonna position way over to the side. That way I know where to actually line up my curve. And this is really fun if you're gonna go around a, you know, uh, some kind of object or something like that. So I'm just gonna draw a curve. I didn't do it as well as I did the first time. Okay, so now that I've drawn my curve, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna line up your stitch um, and I always pull, and I'm doing this with blue so you can see it. Now, I want my line to be right there on the inside of that, knowing that's where my um, stitch is going to start. Now, make sure that you're at the beginning of the stitch, too, so that you're not starting, like, out here. You're going to actually start stitching where it's at the beginning. Um, so, what you're going to do, and this is just kind of manipulation, too. So, I'm going to start stitching, and I know it's going up. But I'm going to, I'm going to let it go all the way up and I'm just going to keep moving and you'll notice I'm moving my hands this way because I'm keeping that inside. It's just like doing applique. You're keeping that inside line next to your um, inside of that uh, foot right there. So when you go out, you let it go out, you just curve it. So just like doing applique, all I'm doing is I'm just moving it slowly and keeping that inside line, or it could be the side of a applique, or it could be anything, but you can do this with any machine. You're just allowing the stitch to hit that bottom of where that line is, and that allows you to look really fantastically talented by curving your stitch. So you notice all I did was just make sure that I'm keeping the bottom of that stitch or what I'm considering the left side of that stitch right on that line. And now it looks like I'm doing this really kind of neat specialty stitch. And instead of it being a straight line, I can curve it. So that's all I was going to teach you today. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you later.